in this video you find that a man and a woman are walking towards one another when they meet they want to cross and go their separate ways but you will find that they are unable to do so and the woman hit something hard both the man and the woman have been fooled by the glass present in between them why does this happen the glass was such that light passed through it very easily and none of it was reflected that is why the man and the woman could not see the presence of the glass in between them so what do you think such objects are called objects through which light passes through very easily and those objects through which we can see clearly are known as transparent objects so in the previous example glass was a transparent object so what are some other examples of transparent objects the glass that you use at home for drinking water is a transparent object because you can see clearly through it also water is a transparent object you must have seen that even when you pour water inside the glass you are still able to see through it now we learned that transparent objects are objects through which light can pass through easily what are some other type of objects let us find out now look at this animation in this animation you will notice that one part of it the scenery you can see very clearly and the other part of the scenery that is covered by the glass that is moving you can see it in a very hazy manner so why do you think it is so i just mentioned that glass is a transparent object but here lies the twist this glass is not a normal kind of glass this is a frosted glass so what kind of an object is frosted glass it is a translucent object so what are translucent objects objects through which light passes only partially and through which we can see not as clearly as we could through transparent objects are known as translucent objects so frosted glass is a translucent object in this picture you will notice that the concept of a translucent object has been explained very clearly you will notice that the hand of the man is very clearly visible when the translucent object the frosted glass in this case is not kept but behind the frosted glass his hand is somewhat visible not clearly visible now consider an interesting situation you and your friends you are playing hide and seek and you have two choices either to hide behind this door or to hide behind this door now which door will you hide behind and why obviously you will hide behind the second door and not the first door but why is it so because if you hide behind the first door you will see that your friends will be able to see you right through it why because as we just learned glass is a transparent object through which light passes through very easily but in the second case the wooden door does not allow light to pass through easily so if you hide behind the wooden door your friends will not be able to see you so what are these objects called through which light cannot pass at all those objects through which light cannot pass and through which we cannot see what is on the other side are known as opaque objects so what are the three kinds of objects we learned about opaque transparent and translucent so let's take a quick recap of how we can see the other side through these three kinds of objects you will notice in this picture that you can see a giraffe very clearly through the transparent object however through the translucent object the body of the giraffe is not very visible it is somewhat visible and you can see only a hazy picture but through the opaque object you cannot see anything at all the image of the giraffe is not visible to you at all so how can we conclude 
Transparent objects are those objects through which light passes through very easily. Translucent objects are objects through which light passes through only partially. And opaque objects are those objects through which light does not pass at all. <laughs>